Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, The Other. It's the 28th of September today, and we're a month away from Halloween. A friend of mine suggested that I do a YouTube show on whether Halloween is good or bad. I do not really have an opinion in that in that regard. I, I myself am not a fan of Halloween, but it's more of the fact that I'm, I'm an adult and just it just uh, the, the holiday itself doesn't interest me. I don't I don't think I don't think of it. You know, I don't dislike because it's evil or I think it's evil or anything like that. I just I just don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. I liked it as a kid. I liked the candy. I liked the costumes and it was fun. And used to years ago, a friend and I used to rent horror movies and on Halloween night and watch them. But a little history I found on the internet about Halloween, also known as All Halloween, All Hallows Eve, or All Saints Eve, a celebration observed in a number of countries on October 31st, the eve of the Western Christian feast on All Hallows Day. It begins the three-day observance of All Hallow Tide, the time of the liturgical year dedicated to remember the, remembering the dead, including saints, hall, hallows in parentheses, martyrs, and all the faithful departed. It is widely believed that many Halloween traditions originated from Celtic harvest festivals, which may have pagan roots, particularly the Gaelic festival Samhain, and that this festival was Christianized as Halloween. Some academics, however, support the view that Halloween began independently as solely a Christian holiday. Activities on Halloween include trick-or-treating, Attending Halloween costume parties, decorating, carving pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, lighting bonfires, apple bobbing, playing games, playing pranks, visiting haunted attractions, telling scary stories, and watching horror films. Like, that's what I used to do. In many parts of the world, the Christian religious observances of All Hallows' Eve include attending church services and lighting candles in the graves of the dead remain popular, although elsewhere is more commercial and a more commercial and secular celebration. Some Christians could historically abstain from meat on All, All Hallows' Eve, a tradition reflected in the eating of certain foods on this vigil day, including apples, potato pancakes, and souls cakes. So, basically, you know, how Halloween is, is it, you know, a Christian holiday or not? Kind of a, a lot of controversy to that. Um, Christmas we celebrate the birth of Christ, and Easter, we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. So, when I was reading this article, I really was not able to find a common opinion on whether it's Christian or pagan. Um, the, the holiday itself to children has, has no religious significance. It, um, churches I've gone to, they they have they've had Halloween parties. One of the churches I went to had trunk or treat, where kids went trick or treating. People had stuff in their trunks of their car and had the trunks open. They'd give them candy from the trunks of the car. It's called trunk or treat. But um, most Christians believe that the Halloween itself can be celebrated as a day of fun. Retailers advertise it as a great time for kids. Let me find some, something else I wanted to read as well from it. Should Christians and their children participate in Halloween activities if they are unsure whether it's the right thing to do or convinced it is wrong? The Bible teaches us that we should be fully persuaded in our own minds about these things, either pro or con, but we should not judge or condemn others who are of different Persuasion. The Apostle Paul's advice in Romans 14 can be applied to the question of Halloween activities. If some people feel uncomfortable participating in Halloween activities, perhaps due to problems in their region, they should not do so. The day has religious significance only to those who give its re religious significance. Of course, as mentioned earlier, we would do well to avoid these activities that still do have a, a non-Christian flavor. It is the responsibility of each Christian to decide based on biblical and Christian principles, whether to participate in Halloween activities and to avoid jumping other Christians who have different circumstances and make different decisions. Like I said, I it's I guess Halloween's basically whatever people want to make it make it out to be. I like I said, I I don't really I don't find Halloween to be bad or anything. I, I think it depends on what how people celebrate Halloween. How it's like I said, it's a, it's a fun time for kids to get get some extra candy and. Go trick or treating. It's, it's 
Um, there was one thing I read on the in internet, uh, a little piece from William J. Schnobel, and uh, he was a former witch high priest, now saved by Jesus, and he he um, he's a I guess is a pastor now, and he he basically said that um, Halloween's a very bad thing. Keep keep your children away from it. So it's you're. I'm finding all kinds of various opinions as to whether you know Halloween's a bad thing or good a good thing, and yeah, I like I said, I I think it depends on the person how how people look at the how at the holiday, how people how people celebrate it, and I mean for the purpose of kids going trick or treating, I I don't I don't see a problem with it really. I you know I I'm sure some people disagree with me on it, but. I you know, I had I had some fun with the Halloween with Halloween when I when I was a kid, but like I said as an adult, I I don't pay as much a, attention to it anymore. And my dad told me when he I I don't know how long trick or treating has actually been going on, but I mean I I grew up in the 1960s. And I I remember seeing kids trick or treating in the mid mid 60s, and my dad grew up in the 1930s. And he said that they didn't go trick or treating back then, but they played they played all kinds of pranks like letting air out of tires, or relocating. Um, people's yard items from one yard to another that that kind of thing but um it seems to originate in, in the 10th um, century that's what i what i was reading in another article i've been I've, I've been looking all over the internet at various articles on about the holiday so basically to sum sum this summarize this thing i i do not have an opinion as to, as to whether you know halloween is good or bad it's it's up to it's up to you know, each individual whether you know whether whether they like whether they like it or not. I I don't yeah it's whatever however you want to want to make it. And as always, thanks for watching.